Fab Oilers. Fab Oilers. Hmm. Oh, hi, everyone. Guess what? It's December. And this is Fab Oilers. And obviously, I've got some energy going. I must be using some oils or something. <laughs> I don't know. I feel good. Good. I hope y'all feel good too. So only three of us made it here tonight, but that's okay. You're going to still hear about four oils. One, two, three, four. Yes, get excited. What are we covering? Hmm. Teas. We're doing teas. That means we didn't. A to Z. We are coming to the end of the alphabet. A to Z. We're at T. Right. We're at we're at T. We didn't finish the alphabet. Oh, we'll have to talk about that in closing. But for right now, let's see who wants to go first. Amy. Oh, me. Okay, I get to go. He's All right. this face. <laughs> I actually am the lucky one who gets to do <laughs> two different oils. Um, oh. I really was torn <laughs> on um, which oils I wanted to share with you guys because I think, you know, there actually is, let me look, I got my notes on. There is eight tea oils, eight oils that begin with tea. So if you don't know, <laughs> I mean, there's more than just tea tree oil. There's more than just, you know, the common ones. So I want to talk to you a little bit about some um, unknown, unsung heroes in the tea oil <laughs> world. The first one I want to talk to you guys about is thyme. Thyme, it comes in a 15 ml. It is you know, obviously a lot of us have cooked with thyme. This is a normal cooking one. It's great to throw in your pot roast. If you're cooking, you know, a nice meal for everybody over the holiday season. It is a really potent, potent oil. Um, but there's this is like, it, it, this is a, a level of oregano-ish. Like we talk, I, I, I teach my classes. I talk about tea tree oil, AKA melaleuca is like a mild antibiotic of sorts, right? And then, you know, when you go to the doctor you can get a stronger antibiotic of sorts and oregano is usually the high, higher one. Time is right around that same level of it. So it actually helps with, like we're going to the book on the physical side. So it, it helps with asthma bacterial infections, um, bites and stings, blood clots. Um, let's talk a little bit about brain aging. That, yes, and a lot of us, I know at our age right now, I don't know where y'all are landing, but that, you know, when the brain starts fading and stuff, you know, we're seeing it in our, our um, older, older people. This is a great one for it. At bronchitis. Tis the season, a lot of us are getting those chest colds and things like that. So bronchitis, cold, croup. Um, this is also another great one. We talked about bacterial infections, but it's also fungal infections, right? Um, time is a great one for hair. Did you know that? Know. And when I say hair, I mean greasy, oily hair, fragile hair, hair loss, all of them. So this could be one that you put in your shower and when you get your shampoo in there, you put a drop or two of it in there and add it in and wash your hair with it. If you have, like I say, greasy or overly oily hair or your hair is super fragile, which I'm kind of going through that, you know, we go through that with our hormones changing and things like that. Um, it also is a good one for pneumonia um, and psoriasis. So if you have psoriasis on the scalp, that can help too. Um, sciatica, right? So it covers a lot. Time is highly antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial, antioxidant, antiviral, and antiseptic. Like, hello, this is a powerhouse. If you bomb, yeah, if you've gotten this in one of the bogos and don't know how to use it, um, it is so. It. <laughs> let's think back two years ago if our government only knew about time listen to this historical <laughs> uses it was used by the egyptians for embalming and it was used by the ancient greeks to fight against infectious illnesses <laughs> like, you compared it a little bit to oregano is it hot like oregano it is it is so you definitely want to um you know dilute it it is a, a warmer oil of sorts like that um, and they actually suggest in here, dilute on a ratio of one to four. So one drop of time to four drops of a carrier oil, like coconut oil, um, when you're using it topically. For kids, you're going to want to increase that dilution ratio, right? 
Um, you can apply it directly to the area of concern, or if you use your books and your reference materials that show you reflex points, you can do that too. Um, you can also use this internally. Obviously, we talked about it with cooking, but you could do drops under the tongue or in a capsule as well to get the um, additional uses like that. So it helps energize in times of physical weakness and stress and aids in concentration and it is uplifting and helps to relieve depression. So this is a great one. If you have this one and you don't know how to, uh, haven't pulled it out and incorporated it, it is a great one. Let's take the depression and the releasing a little bit deeper. Time is the oil of releasing and forgiving. Wow. And sometimes around the holidays, it can be hard to interact with family. And so this would be a great one for you to even keep by your bedside, you know, starting just putting it on the bottoms of your feet. That's an easy way to start to allow things to kind of release and purge out in that way. Um, it helps with anger. If you have people in your life that have this deep, deep, consistent anger, it's going to help um, even to the level of rages. Time is a great oil to help kind of soothe that beast, so to speak. If someone is really bitter or hateful or resentful, right? This is a, this is a powerhouse oil for it. And I don't think it gets utilized enough. Even for ourselves, we may have anger in there we don't understand. And nobody says you have to understand it or know where it comes from. But if you feel it and you don't like that feeling, just start applying it or diffusing it at night and it will work through and process through. So time was the one oil I wanted to bring to you. And I had to, because of the time of the year, I had to also share with you about Tulsi. Tulsi is the holy basil. Tulsi is an oil that they came out with, what was it, like a year or two ago, right? It was, it's fairly one of our newer favorite ones. And it comes in a smaller 5 ml. So I'll show you again. It's T-U-L-S-I. So like I said, it's a holy basil. So it's a little different than our basil oil, um, but there are some common commonalities. So this is another great one. We talked about time for respiratory, but Tulsi is another great one for respiratory for asthma, bronchitis, coughs, fevers, high blood pressure, and stress. And we know this is a stressful time of year in the holiday season, right? So this is a really great one for that one. Um, and because it is considered the holy basil, it is a great oil for what they emotionally refer to as spiritual integration. Okay, so if you're really kind of feeling out of sorts, maybe super strained, super stressed, um, energetically blocked of that, how that feels is like, you just feel stuck right? Like you can't, or maybe you just can't even feel anything. Like you're just numb in that way, weakened in that way. This is going to help you to kind of bring back that energy, help you feel alive, a little bit more clear, balanced, healed. If you're feeling broken, holy basil can be a great one to help with that. And you're, again, you're going to just take one drop and you can apply it to the temples right here. I just like do it like a perfume bottle, right? It's super fresh and clean, super, it, it, to me, it almost has like a minty scent too. And then you can apply it to the top on the crown of your head too. Um, so this is really, uh, uh, it is a sacred, sacred herb that's actually highly valued in, in India for the, for the, um, spiritual side of it, the religious side of it. Um, and it is, they, they say in here, it's considered indispensable as nothing compares with its majestic qualities. It uh, has a host of beneficial um, uses, including being a powerful adaptogen for many of the body systems, acting to balance and restore areas that have become weakened or blocked. Um, it, it restores the energetic flow for healing body, mind, and spirit. So if you are somebody who is well aware of prana or chi or any of that, um, this is going to help with realigning that. Dang, I got three of those sitting in a drawer. I'm going to open them up. Oh my gosh. And it smells so good. Have you smelled them at all? I did. I liked it, but I didn't really know what it was for. So oh, like, yeah. literally I have three of them just sitting over here. I, this would be a great one to literally diffuse at night. It's just super soothing and calm. I just, as I whipped it, I just got like goosey bumps, like all over, just like, oh, I, had I love that. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Paula, I'm going to pass it back to you. What are you talking about? 
Awesome. Well, first, I do want to say one thing about time, uh, yeah. a safety thing. So if you're epileptic, if you have high blood pressure, and as always, if you're pregnant, um, don't be using this internally, like check it out, do your research first, see if that's something that uh, you check out. Um, I will say in, in, I got that from this handy dandy little book. Yeah. Mine yeah, says use with caution corner. when dealing with high blood pressure too. Mine says. Yeah. And epileptic. So just to kind of pay a little attention to that, um, I felt was kind of important. So I am going to be talking about Terra Shield. I know it's not really the time of year for Terra Shield. No, it so is. So you thought. I know. I I, it's yes, totally it a bug repellent, right? But let me start with what I learned about it. I didn't know it was for bugs. I thought it was for annoying people. That's what I was told about it. So I was, I, this is how I was introduced to it. I was teaching uh, like one of my very first 101 classes, like, hey, what's an oil and how do you use it, right? Y'all want to go to those classes, right? And I had a heckler in the front row, just heckling away. So the gal that was kind of helping me learn how to do this, she handed me Terra Shield. And uh, I was like, you want me to teach about Terra Shield? She's like, put it on. Do, do, do. She's like, touch him. And I reached out and touched him as in that's, we actually laugh and call that Paula touch now. Cause I actually put oils on people all the time. <laughs> touch him. It like creates this little barrier to keep his negative emotions one away from me and two to tamp them down. So their negativity isn't as high as it was. And it's also not being um, thrown at you. Like it, you put up this little bubble around yourself. And I got to tell you, I love the smell of terra shell. Like I've always loved it, but I think it smells like chocolate. And my husband thinks it smells like licorice. Oh, so God. he likes the smell too. So yes, this is one of those oils that I put on cotton balls, put in a Ziploc bag, poke holes in and put on somebody's desk, under their desk and their whoever's being the stink, right? Yeah. Like they got a bad attitude. I love this one. So what I'll diffuse it. At Christmas time, when you got that grumpy... Yep. Uh, humbug. <laughs> I'll diffuse it for those people, right? Yeah. And unless I like if they're staying the night or something, there'll be cotton balls under their bed to keep the mice away, right? That's what those are for. <laughs> mm. It's really to keep their negative little selves. Right. right. Like keep their negativity at bay. But the smell of this is amazing. And I I have to tell you, it's actually was created for actual mosquitoes and bugs outside to protect you from that, right? So its top use is insect repellent, and it comes in this fantastic little spray bottle. Let me see, see that little nice mister? I love that. And I keep them, because guess what? I just make some more. Refill them, I yeah. That. It saves you a little dollar too, right? But did you know it's for cellular health and acts as an antioxidant? No, I didn't know that. Dude, if you're doing like a foot bath, put a drop of that in there. Cause yeah. I don't know anybody who doesn't like the smell of this, by the way, like they either smell chocolate or licorice. That's kind of what I've discovered, but you can put it in Epsom salts in your bath. You can, um, this is one of the ones you don't want to do internally, right? There's not many of those, but this is one of the few that we do not use internally, but you could do that foot bath or the Epsom salts, diffuse it. You can put it on your hand and rub it right on the bottoms of your feet, right? I actually, Think you could put it anywhere it's pretty fabulous stuff i do have a friend who uses this as her deodorant oh that's a good that idea. smell right um anything to do with the skin it's another one of those great uh skin oils but get this if you have a hard time making emotional boundaries this is your guy right if if people are well i think we already covered it kind of working your nerves that's your guy but i saw the coolest thing and this is this is so funny. I don't remember. I see so much information comes at us these days, right? You forget somewhere. I don't know if it was Instagram, Facebook. I have no idea, but I, I heard this the other day. So there's a gal and her kid out on a quad or something like that out tool, tooling around and she got cut on bob wire. And all she had with her was time, which Amy talked about that she puts in her chicken water, right? Ooh, she yeah. had time and she had... <clears throat> Um, Terra Shield. That's all she had with her. And her little bitty kid, like Boy Scout or something, says, Mom, like I forget, he he's like this. I, I forget what he called himself, but he's like a Boy Scout or something. He said, This has a carrier oil. It's actually sesame seed. It's not coconut, but it has a carrier oil. So he said, Let me show you how it's done. Get this. Watch this. So she got an open band-aid, right? So he takes the carrier oil and puts it on a leaf. 
do, 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 and then takes the time and puts it on the leaf and then puts it on her like a Band-Aid. That leaf stayed on her until they were all the way home, got it off, cleaned it with running water and bandaged it appropriately. So dude, pay attention to what's in your pocket. You could be out and about. Yeah, it was to keep the bugs away, but you really needed that time, right? For that wound. Yeah. And then, so there you go. You can make an instant little bandage. Do you see that? Wow. Put it on the leaf, put it on your owie. I, I, I'm sorry. I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. That's ingenious. That right? I wouldn't have thought of that. Holy crap. I think that's fantastic. But looks like uh, Renee's back. So Miss Renee, uh, first, do you guys have anything to say about tear shells? And if not, you're up. Ah, I think you covered everything and I learned a, a buttload from that one. So thank you. I love that you focused on that one because Terra Shield to me is just <laughs> the, the repellent, you know, it's like, I only use the spray, you know, for the repellent. That's all I use it well, for. Well, even though it's December everywhere else, I mean, you guys are in Arizona. So we have not, bugs. I was going to say, you guys still have bugs. You know what I'm saying? So, and you, and you may be wanting to do your dinner outside, in which case you don't want the flies and all of that. The one experience I had with Terra Shield was um, we had a horse who had, you know, got caught up in the fence and ripped his shoulder blade open. So, you know, you have that open wound. So we applied tea tree oil to help heal the wound. Right. But then we were using Terra shield around it to keep the flies out of it. So it could heal. And my father-in-law, he was like raving. He's like, I have never seen it heal this fast. And partially because we're dealing with the oils, we know they're powerful, but second of all, keeping those insects off of that and keeping that you know, le less infection, it could, it, the body of the horse could do everything that it needed to do at that, that terror shield. If you deal, deal with horses or like, even you said the time in the chickens, like it can so overlap. I'm, I'm missing Miss Brenda this time. Cause I know she would be using it all out in her barn, all of these. So right. what you got for us, Miss Renee? I'm sorry. Life gets in the way. So I apologize, people. This is, you know, this is why everybody can do this. Is I got a phone call and I had to take it and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. So anyway, that's why I kind of got Miss, uh, you got my picture a few minutes we ago. We got you. We got you. So we are on teas and I'm going to do, oops. Did you say sorry. what teas? <laughs> we are teases. We are on the letter T. We're on teas. <laughs> So tangerine. Oh, what a love it. I love tangerine. So I know a lot of people like wild orange, but I love tangerine. Yeah. So uh, last month I talked about Siberian fur and I gave you guys a little hint about, you know, maybe blending it together with tangerine. It's kind of, I gave you a little hint of what I was going to do. <laughs> so, so anyways, foreshadowing. <laughs> so here's just a little tidbit is tangerine. A lot of people say like, especially like grapefruit or stuff, people are like, oh, I don't like the smell of grapefruit or I don't like, you know, the taste of grapefruit and stuff. Oils aren't extracted by the fruit. They're extracted by the rind. So tangerine is extracted by the rind, which is you get that stronger, amazing, um, you know, scent and Okay, Amy's ready to I'm say doing, Well, I'm doing this because as you're talking, it's reminding me of like how you would peel a tangerine or uh -huh. peel an orange or peel and a you just get that aroma smell that you get on your hand. That's why I'm doing that. I'm like, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Right there. <laughs> right, exactly. Even though we're in December, citrus, you know, is not the greatest right now. But on the other side, it's just like, this is why we have oils that we can bring that, that into our house. Well, I don't so, know about you, but I grew up every year. We had oranges and, and apples and, and nuts put in our stocking. That was part of our thing was the, that was what we got. So having the ability to bring back that uh, aspect of it in the, through the oils, it, it's exciting. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Right. Okay. So let's talk about it. And I just had to jump on something really quick. Hang on. Okay. While you're jumping, mix tangerine and clove in your diffuser. Wah, so good. So good. Oh, I bet. And I know that we talk, I mean, I, I'm bringing it up and the only reason why, because I'm sensitive to this, because people are always like, oils are expensive. Oils are expensive. It's only $15 guys. It's oh, $15 yeah. is a wholesale price. So like when we're talking about these oils, we're not pulling the $400 oils, the $30. And it only takes a drop or two and there's like exactly. drops in a bottle. 
Right. So I'm always trying to bring that perspective into it. So the primary benefits, it's internal use supports healthy digestion and metabolism. Great, great one for that. Um, it's cleansing and purifying. So it's great to clean with it. If you want to do green cleaning, pop it into a spray bottle with some water, um, even distilled water and spray your counters and you can clean with it. Um, you can diffuse it. So it's purifying the air that we are breathing in. So that's another way we can do it. You can take internally. So this is another one you can actually put in your water. You can actually put it into your cookies if you're baking or you're frosting. If you want to throw something different into it, and if you want in a citrus flavor for your frosting, cooking is a great way to add this into it. Um, oatmeal. Who loves oatmeal during this time? Oh, yeah. Flavor your oatmeal up. I love flavoring my oatmeal up with um, our oils. So I do a little citrus one. Tangerine with the vanilla oil. Oh, yeah score that would be fabulous <laughs> i'm getting hungry <laughs> <laughs> um let's see we can um and then it creates an inspiring environment so i know amy will chime in on the emotional oil <laughs> or emotional side of it but it's just it's one of those oils that i just you know everybody has wild orange which is exciting i love wild orange don't get me wrong but i just like to mix it up a little bit and i love tangerine so but other things you can do is you can take it in a capsule. So if you want some more internal benefits of it, you can just pop it into a capsule. Um, you can add it to a, a beverage. If you're making mocktails or cocktails during the holiday, you can add tangerine to flavor up your mocktails or cocktails. So, I mean, be experimental, guys. I mean, you just, it's so much fun to use the oils and um, do anything you want to do with them to be well, honest. I remember we were talking about planning this one and what oils we were going to talk about. And Renee's like, I really want to do tangerine, but it's kind of a weird one to do at Christmas. And, and I was it's like, not. Oh no, it's really not like, it's so great how it incorporates into everything. And this is the time of year when everybody feels like overburdened and really heavy hearted, you know, maybe you're, you know, the holidays are bringing like some sadness, you know, and, and, or that you're super stressed and tangerine is a great uplifter for that. So no, I, I and I want you to remind them, Renee, cause you do, um, a pot on your stove and I'm imagining tangerine in that. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I do a simmer pot. Actually, I changed from the stove to one of the crock pots, like the miniature crock pots, okay. just because the stove, I kind of forgot that it, I would, forget to go put more water in it. Oh, we'll <laughs> so <start. laughs> so I, I realized that I can't be doing that anymore. So I moved it to a crock pot. So I just have like one of those crock pots that you just kind of put dips in, yeah. you know? And so I do that and I do the water. So I add water and then I do clove. Like so actual I, clove or clove oil? Uh, a little bit of both. Okay. So I do the actual cloves and then I do some clove oil to really enhance it. I do, I cut up whatever citrus I have. If I have lemons, I have oranges, I have whatever citrus I have. I slice those up. I put those in there. I also add the oil. So I, if I have wild orange, I'll put a little wild orange. I put a little lemon and then I'll put cinnamon bark because I'll put a cinnamon stick and, you know, and then I do tangerine. I mean, it just kind of depends on what you have, but I just do that and I let it literally go all day long. And that, and I'm getting the benefits of the oil because it's kind so of good. a diffuser as well. So, but it smells so good. I mean, if you have cranberries, you can throw cranberries in there. You know, I can like, practically taste it. My taste buds are over here popping, yeah, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can just like, whatever you have. I mean, there's times that I put, I have rosemary, the actual, um, uh, huh? The plant? Not, well, yeah, you can do the plant, but I have the dried rosemary in the shaker bottle. I just threw rosemary in there and then I throw a little bit of rosemary oil in there as well. So, you know yeah. what you were doing, you know how, when you, if people are getting a real tree, you know, I remember we always had to trim the bottom, right? So sometimes mm -hmm. you might have little sporadic little branches. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So you could throw the little minis in there and then 
do the Siberian fur, like you talked about last month and with the tangerine and cause you're not eating out of that crock pot. It, no, you, exactly. The simmer pot, you could still get that tree piney mixed with the spices and the fruit. You could still add that. That's just and a then idea. once a month I do a book club and everybody walks in, they're like, oh my gosh, what is that? You know? And it's just like, it's my hodgepodge of, you know, you whatever I have high in your crock pot. Do you put it in on high? No, just low low simmer. Okay. Just low. And then, you know, since I am a little sensitive about the water, you know, I just always go over and kind of keep putting more water. In. Gotcha. I mean, it, it's never like completely gone away, but you know, I just kind of freshen it up. So a do you bit. put that little lid on it or you just no. leave it open? Okay. Nope. I li- leave it open. I'm thinking I'm going to go to the thrift store and look for one of those little mini pots. Oh, great idea. <laughs> I have, I have one have- and I've never used it. It's sitting in the other room. So right. I think I might be doing that. No. And it's great for the holiday seasons right now too, you know, and it's just kind of like, you can add whatever you want into it. You can well, add some- It's because we have our diffusers, right? right? But it's nice to have like you know, a little bit more of the richness to it. Mm -hmm. That is, you know, diffusers, you know, it it covers that, but like you're saying, this is just a a, a mixing in the actual fruit and the actual spices. It's just going to get that much more depth, I think, um, than, than just the diffuser. I'm excited to try it. Jeez, yeah, look I, at everything we've learned. So I'm going to cook with time when I got grouchy people around for sure. Right. I'm going to fix my wounds with Lee's. I'm putting um, tangerine and everything. I like putting tangerine in an ice cube tray and then film with water, obviously, so that because I drink water no matter what time of year it is. And in the winter, when the heater's going, I actually feel more dehydrated than in the summer sometimes. So I love the tangerine and ice cubes to dump in there. That That's helpful to me, but. If you were making like a class. sangria and you had tangerine in your ice cubes and then you added the oh, into the sangria. Mm. See, well, I'm telling you, don't you love our Fab Boilers workshops? Fab Boilers. Fab Boilers. Hey, ladies, really quick. You just talked about water and stuff. Can you just remind people of oils and cups, like adding to your water? Make sure I was going to ask you that when you said you added to your ice cube trays, because the ice cube trays a lot of times are plastic. Have you found that it impacts? So, there's a lot of neoprene ones and there's still metal ones at the thrift stores. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go with the old school. <laughs> so, so you can still get that, but to be honest, um, I just do it in the plastic ones. It's going to freeze up in no time. It's not like, uh, it's not like putting it in a plastic cup and letting it sit around for days. You know what I mean? That kind of strips down the cup and then you're ingesting all that plastic. But I would hope in the amount of time it takes to freeze, it's not going to strip the plastic. So maybe don't be me. Maybe go to the thrift store and get the metal ones or the neoprene well, and ones. Not, but... oil, not all oils do that. Like if you were making like a, you know, maybe uh, uh, I made these once. There was like a, a rosemary and lime margarita and you wanted to add rosemary oil to your, you know, ice cubes. You know, it, not all oils are going to eat well, away. Mostly it's citrus. Citrus ones, yeah. But I use, so this is metal on the inside. I use metal and I use glass. My very first experience with oils was in an iced tea in a styrofoam cup on a long drive and I put tangerine and cassia in it to flavor it up because I was going no sugar right and I'm driving I'm like why am I wet like my leg was and I and it had burned a hole all the way around (laughs) there was tea all over my car needless to say it jacked up my trip I had to pull over and take some time so no styrofoam absolutely ever if but you it's not even plastic please do not even styrofoam because I went the other day and I got a tea right and a hot tea from a local coffee shop and I like to add lemon oil to my tea instead of the lemon right mm-hmm. and um you know I had the like, like the coffee lid plastic thing on it and I was taking a drink out of it not thinking anything and all of a sudden I'm like why where is it leaking from and and it had like around the rim of you know like snaps around there but around the oh rim, wow it, it was like I could lift the whole plastic top off it ate of it, it. Yeah. So even like, cause it was a paper bottom. So I wasn't worried about that, but I forgot even the lid. So you just be aware of with the plastic parts and citrus oils. Um, yeah. So people don't freak out. That's not eating us inside. No. Just- <laughs> well, we're not man-made chemical junk. Exactly. Yes. Right. So I just want everybody to be like, Ooh, well then what am I putting in it's inside of me? So very it's very healthy, healthy for you. Mother in nature. Body. Think of it this way. It cleans out the man-made chemical junk in your Perfect. body and leaves your natural organs in prime condition. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have two things really quick to add. 
So when you guys are grabbing oils, make sure you read the labels because I was really excited to diffuse this one time. And I was like, oh, I, in my office, I just put a bunch, like probably four, five or six oils or drops in my diffuser. And I was like, I was getting nauseous. I'm like, why am I getting nauseous? Why am I getting nauseous from tangerine? I looked, it's turmeric. Oh. Turmeric is orange and starts with a T. It looks identical to this. So you guys got to remember, read your labels. So I was diffusing turmeric. And wow. I did the same thing. So I was grabbing so geranium long. in the middle of the night because I do mine alphabetical. And I had thought I was grabbing geranium for my son's nosebleed. And I was like, stop in the nosebleed. It turned out I was putting grapefruit on his nose. And he's like, it's burning. Because I, I was like, oh no. But I mean, he's alive. He did that. It was uncomfortable for the coconut, bit. coconut. Yeah, his nose did stop bleeding, but it just took more because we were using geranium. But yeah, definitely check your labels or put on your glasses or turn the light on. <laughs> like when and then one more thing I wanted to add, because we've talked about the kids collection and I know Paula talked about this last month really quick. She, she loves Tamer. Since we're on teas, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Tamer. If Digestion is too strong for you as adults and you know it's too strong for kids, Tamer is the kids edition for the digestive blend. And it is fabulous. Again, for if it's, you know, like I said, if Digestion is too strong for you, the smell or even the, re, you know, if it gets into your system too quickly, then I, tam, Tamer is a great option for you. Well, and it is a good one this time of year. Number one, if you're road tripping for holidays, because my son uses it for motion sickness and the car sickness. And uh -huh. number two, the bloated overeating turkey, family dinner, Tamer. All tamer. the sweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. Mm -hmm. Paula, what were you going to say? You want to close us out? I was going to say uh, a lot of people don't like the smell of digestion because of the licorice smell to it. Hey, that's and me. so if you're in an environment where people are sensitive to the smell, just switch to the tamer. Give yeah. up the ghost, man. You can eat your digestion, you know, just put it right under your tongue straight up and put the tamer on. I love tamer. Working um, at the hospital, I always use tamer in, once I come out with it, I always use tamer instead of digestion. And I never had a complaint ever. But when I was using digestion topically, I got a lot of like scenty kind of complaint. But oils are amazing. You guys are amazing. We're so glad that you had you all here. I love learning from you girls together. What an amazing December. I can't imagine what January is going to bring. But tidbits, we may actually come back in December because we only landed on T. Where's X, Y, Z? Like, where's the rest of the alphabet in this A to Z thing? So we may be back. Drop your comments for what you want to learn about. And uh, let us know if you're having any issues with those books. Thanks so much. See you guys. Merry Christmas.